here is how you calculate the period of orbit of an extrasolar planet from the radial velocity graph. Remember, we detect extrasolar planets not by directly seeing them, but because they tug on their star. The movement of the star is deduced from the Doppler shift of its spectrum. Previously, we simulated such observations using the PHET My Solar System Simulator. In the graph of this motion, we noticed it is repeatable. The time between the repeatability of motion is known as its period. Of course, in science, one repetition is not enough. You need multiple repetitions to establish accuracy. For the radial velocity graph, you need to pick an initial time, Ti, then count out a number of periods, and then mark the final time, Tf. You can then calculate the average period by subtracting the initial time from the final time and then dividing the difference by the number of complete periods. Here is an example. Suppose in our measurements, we have collected the following data. We mark the time of the initial peak then count out four complete periods and mark the final time. We subtract the initial time from the final time then divide the difference 
by the number of periods. In this example, the end result was 29. To make sure, we go back and check on the graph that approximately 30 is the difference in time between any two consecutive peaks.